Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be trying out products from Minal Cosmetics and Made Kind Naturals. So itong mga products na to were all sent to me, pero as always, I'm gonna be giving you my full and honest opinions and thoughts on these products. Also, yung Minal Cosmetics actually gave me another PR set to give away to you guys. Kaya if you're interested to see me do a very glammed up na look na nandun sa thumbnail and if you're interested in joining the giveaway don't forget to subscribe like this video follow me on all my social media channels stay until the end of the video para makita niyo yung full mechanics and let's go to the video <laughs> Before we start off with the makeup look, for those na hindi pa kilala yung Minaw Cosmetics like myself, they're actually an existing brand, pero ngayon pa lang sila magla-launch dito sa Philippines. They have a Shopee mall already, tapos magla-launch pa lang din sila sa Lazada soon. And all their products are FDA approved and safe for use. Tapos they're also gonna be having up to 70% off sa 11-11 sa Shopee mall nila. So better check that out. Tapos shop dun sa Shopee mall nila para sure tayo na authentic yung products. Start off tayo with the Me Now Foundation Cream. So this foundation claims to have a silky finish. Tapos it's lightweight, blendable, and breathable. <laughs> so namix ko na yung akin kasi sinwatch ko kanina. Medyo mabuti siya sa akin but... Let's make it work. May bronzer naman tayo. The way I'm gonna be applying it, lalagay lang muna ako ng konti. Kasi I'm not really a fan of mga cream type of foundations. Kasi usually, they're heavy looking. Tapos, let's use a sponge to blend out para rin mas may moisture pa. So, ito, it has a very light coverage lang. It doesn't really cover blemishes. Pero, it does parang even out the skin tone, mas ganun lang siya. Kasi, if binailed up natin to ng sobra, I feel like magiging cakey na yung itsura niya. So, it is best applied na parang soft-soft layer lang for evening out the skin tone. Yun, ganun siya mag-work for me. It's not gonna work for me na sobrang ikikake on ko talaga siya. Kasi, it has a tendency talaga to be cakey yung itsura. Gets nyo ba? <laughs> Basta, yun siya for me. Ito pala, it retails for 210 pesos. Which is mura na rin. So, for everyday, I guess, pwede naman siya for light layer lang, ganun. So, nag-concealer na ako off-cam kasi wala naman tayong concealer na itatry. Ngayon, we're gonna go to the Me Now Cosmetics High Definition Powder. We're gonna use this to set the concealer lang. Kasi may isa pa tayong powder itatry to set naman the whole face. So, this one, it claims na it will create a flawless finish, which is photo finish daw. This retails for 365 pesos pala and it comes in 20 grams of product. So, madaming product siya. Yung pinakahinahanap ko when it comes to translucent powders is yung hindi niya gagawing dry looking yung under eyes ko when I set it. Tapos, when I set my under eyes, very minimal lang din yung ginagamit ko. Tapos, dinadala ko siya konti dito. Okay, very good. Wala siyang amoy. Tapos, it reminds me of the RCMA na no color powder, which is good. Itetest din natin yung flash later. Tingnan natin kung meron siyang flashback. Pero, I doubt na meron to. Yes, wala siyang flashback. And, yun naman yung pinaka-test din talaga. Aside from yung kung drying ba siya dun sa under eyes natin. And, it's not drying. It's very similar to the RCMA powder. Yun na talaga yung review ko. It's very, very similar to that one. So, ito mas accessible lang sa atin. And, mas mura siya. You get a lot of product. And yun na, as in, RCMA powder. Kung curious kayo, tingnan nyo yung mga reviews ng mga YouTubers sa RCMA powder. You're practically getting something similar, very very similar, the same to that one. Next we have is the Me Now Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. Eyeshadow primers, yung main use nila is to intensify the colors and to prolong the wear. So, yun yung itatry natin ngayon. And this one pala, it retails for 225 pesos. I've been looking for an eyeshadow primer, kaya sana maganda to. It has a very, very light tint, tapos it reminds me of the Urban Decay na primer potion. Basta yun nasa purple, ganun yung texture niya. Tapos medyo tacky siya, which is good. Ibig sabihin, didikit yung eyeshadow sa kanya. Ngayon, test natin if it's gonna be blendable enough for eyeshadows. 
So for eyeshadow, yung naiisip ko na gagawin ko ngayon is very similar yung technique dun sa Cleopatra na pinost ko ng isang time. May mga nagre-request sa inyo for a tutorial. So yung technique na ginawa ko dun, gagawin din natin today. Just with a different eyeshadow palette. So for today, I'm gonna be using yung Natasha Denona na Safari palette. I just got this recently. Kaya gusto ko siya gamitin. Taking this shade, yung Masai shade, gagawa tayo ng parang ganon dito sa may crease. So may map out ko lang yung shape. Tapos, when we have the shape already, ibe-blend out na natin siya para hindi masyadong harsh yung ganun. Dito natin matetest yung eyeshadow primer if it's blendable enough. Yeah, I feel like it blends well naman. So, very good yun kasi ang mura ng eyeshadow primer na yun and it does not disrupt yung application ko ng eyeshadow. Hindi naman ako nahihirapan na mag-blend. Hindi ako nahihirapan na mag-lay on ng product. So, that's very good. Then, intensify natin ulit yung first shade na ginamit natin. So, bago tayo mag-lid color, mag eyeliner muna tayo. And we have the Me Now Color Precise Eyeliner Set. Meron tong 6 na colors and it retails for 210 pesos only. They claim that these are all smudge-proof and waterproof. And totoo nga, it is very, very much smudge-proof. So, bakit natin uunahin yung eyeliner? Kasi I feel like yung pigment nito is not enough para ipatong sa eyeshadow. And gusto natin i-keep talaga yung true color of the eyeliners. So, yung shade na ginagamit ko is the purple one. So, ito na yung eyes. Naglagay lang ako ng orange na shade sa lower lash line ko. So, itong shade na to. Then, yun na. Naglagay ako ng lashes. This is from Paul Lash again in the style na God. And, yun. So, ngayon, let's move on to the blush na I'm gonna be using. So, nung ina-apply ko kasi yung Made Kind Naturals na multi-purpose balm, na-realize ko na sobrang di pala siya bagay dun sa intense look na ginagawa natin. Kaya ngayon, we're gonna have a mini-review inside of this video. And, yun, mini-review tayo ngayon. <laughs> so, yung Made Kind, they are an all-natural, all-good company. So, lahat ng mga products nila are all-natural, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and suited for all skin types. Yung i review natin today are their multi-purpose bombs. It comes in four shades. Yung clear, sun-kissed, sunburst, and sunshine. Makikita nyo na yung effect na binibigay niya, it's very glowy, it's very healthy looking, and meron talagang sheen siya na binibigay. This one kasi is made out of 100% cocoa butter. Kaya yung amoy din niya, super amoy chocolate, ang bango. Yung shade na gagamitin ko today is the sunburst shade kasi ito yung medyo mas peachy, medyo mas may brown na color. The way that I apply it and yung pinaka-effective for me is kumukuha ako with the spatula na kasama na rin. And then, I put it at the back of my hands, ganyan. Tapos dun ko siya minimelt. And then once it's melted, Tsaka ko siya nilalagay sa cheeks ko. That way, mas controlled yung pigment. Mas controlled natin kung saan pumupunta yung pigment. So, yan. It's melted. Ganda, di ba? Oh. And then, tatap ko lang. This one, it's very similar sa texture ng color steps ng color it. Pero, ang bango talaga. Promise. Mas gusto ko yung amoy nito. May chocolate. It gives a super, super subtle sheen. And, sobrang healthy lang. With this one, hindi na natin kailangan mag-highlighter kasi meron na siyang glow. Glow from within. And then, whatever's left, pwede na natin ilagay sa lips natin. So, it's very, very, very hydrating sa lips. Ang ganda. Yan. So, that's my mini review. <laughs> I like it sobra. As in, it's very lightweight. 
Alam ko medyo parang balm yung texture niya, pero I don't feel like it's heavy on my cheeks at all. And I love yung sheen na binibigay niya. It doesn't look oily for me. Hindi siya overly greasy. Hindi ganun yung itsura niya. Parang mas healthy, mas parang nasa beach siya ko. Ganun. Parang galing ako sa beach, ganun. I'm lounging around. Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Pero basta yung itsura niya, it's very healthy looking. It's easy to apply. As in, you can use your fingers diretso. Pero yun nga, para sa akin, the easiest way is to put it sa back of your hands first and then blend it there bago natin siya i-apply. Plus, healthy to para sa skin natin. It's anti-aging. Wait. Nakasulat dito yun eh. You yeah, know, there's... Babasahin ko na lang ah. Polyphenols are naturally occurring. Yun nga. <laughs> Basta, merong polyphenols. Ngayon ko lang narinig yun. But it's an ingredient in cocoa butter daw that fights signs of aging. So, good for me yun. Now, let's go to bronzer. Gagamitin ko yung Vice Cosmetics X and Clothes na bronzer. Ito yung favorite ko ngayon na lagi ko ginagamit. Ngayon, magsiset tayo ng face and yung gagamitin ko is the Mint Fine Loose Mineral Powder. So, ito, meron daw siyang parang cooling effect. Itatry natin yun. Na-excite nga ako kasi may cooling effect siya. Tapos, yung claims nito is the same as the HD powder. Magbablur out siya ng fine lines. Mas magmumukhang perfected yung face natin. Kaya, try na natin. Amoy mint din siya. Ang bango. Ay. Set natin yung lamig. Oo nga! <laughs> Meron siyang cooling effect. <coughs> Mental. Meron siyang cooling effect. So, ang sarap nito pagka super init. Tapos, ito yung powder. Yes. Yung texture niya, it's the same as the perfecting powder. So, maganda siya. Pero, meron nga lang nung mental effect. Yung cooling effect. So, when it's hot, pagka nasa labas ka, maganda to ilagay sa loob ng bag. So, you can use it para rin ma-refresh ka, di ba? Ito pala, it's 275 pesos. So, mas mura to compared dun sa isa. Kaya, if you're interested, try this one. Ito, medyo ano siya, nakaka-curious talaga kasi nga mint-mint. But I like it. Ngayon, let's go to the Minaw Highlighter. It's called Shimmering Skin Powder. And I have the shade na 88. Tama ba? Basta yung maputi. This one, when I swatched it, ang creamy niya. As in, sobrang smooth nung texture. I like how shiny it is. Pero, the thing with this one is yung shade lang. Hindi tugma sa akin. But, they do have six shades. So, I'm sure merong tutugma sa inyo. I think naman, babagay naman sa look natin today. So, pwede pa rin natin siya gamitin. So, well, so, uh, so yun, apply ko. Let's see kung glittery ba siya or what. Kasi sa swatch, medyo may glitters. Pero, I like the texture talaga kasi creamy. Yeah, medyo glittery lang siya. Pero, if that doesn't bother you naman. Ayan no, ang ganda. Masyado lang maputi sa akin. I think sa eyes to, mas maganda. Highlight natin. Hmm. Bam! Yeah, I like it better on the eyes kesa sa cheeks. Diba? Hmm. This is 165 pesos. Pwede na. Ah, like it also. Ngayon for the lips, I'll be applying Kylie Skin and Coconut na lip liner. Tsaka Sunny's Face na Milk Tea. Hindi ko na i-apply on cam. Gagawin ko na lang off cam since hindi naman ito yung review natin. And I'll be back. Lalagyan ko na rin pala ng gloss. From Anklutz and Vice Cosmetics. Okay, so hindi ko pala na-film yung outro. Kaya magpapakita na lang ako ng pictures ng finished product. Tapos ipapakita ko na rin yung giveaway mechanics. And yun. As always, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, follow me on all my social media channels, comment down below, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!